everyone and welcome back to the Aussie Disney Girl YouTube channel. I have a very, very special guest today, Rami Cabot Conyers, who voices Antonio in Encanto. Welcome and thank Hi. you so much for coming. Yes, yeah, thank you so much for having me. This is so exciting. I've been watching your YouTube channel for maybe at least a month now and oh. I love your content. It's so awesome. And I'm wondering like how you find all this stuff. Wait, no, I'll save that for the interview that I'm doing with you. <laughs> Yep, yeah, sure, definitely, because I have plenty of questions to ask you because you are very, very interesting. First question, Thank obviously, you. at such a young age, you've accomplished so many things, like you've been in a Netflix series and you've like voicing a Disney character now. What made you want to start acting? Like what inspired you? Well, I used to watch the um, 1966 Batman TV show. Oh. And I used to dress up and act out all the characters. So then my parents were like, hmm, I think he'd be a good actor. So that's how it started. And I was like, yeah, sure. So you are a very yeah. good actor. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thank um, you so much. For anyone who hasn't seen Encanto yet, could you tell them like a bit about your character and his powers and what you love about him? Well, um, I play Antonio Madrigal. He <laughs> is the youngest Madrigal and he got his gift and his gift is talking to animals. He can communicate with them and they can communicate with him and, they, and he can understand them and stuff. And he's a little bit of an introvert, but when he got his gift, he started being able to communicate with everybody and not just Mirabelle, which Mirabelle kind of feels like his bestie. Mm -hmm. Oh, for sure. I absolutely love that scene right at the beginning of the movie when you and her are in the nursery under the bed. Oh, oh it was, yeah, so was so beautiful. Oh, your acting was incredible in that scene. Like, wow, it was so emotional. I really felt that you didn't want to leave her. Oh, it was so good. You were so amazing. I absolutely really? love it. Just what was your audition experience like for Encanto? And when did you get cast? Did you have to do a callback? What was it like? Well, I, I'm pretty sure that I, when I got the, when I got the, when my mom got the email about this new, this new role for something, I mm -hmm. was like, I was excited. I was excited. I didn't know it was for Disney. However, me and my mom did think that it was, that it was for a Moana sequel, possibly. Ooh, you'd be good in a Moana sequel. Thank you so much. <laughs> There's a series. Yeah. We'll cast you in it. We'll talk to Disney. <laughs> oh yeah yeah <laughs> that would be so much fun mm. that'd be really fun so you thought anyway, it was like a Moana se sequel yeah I thought it would be something like that but then um I got all the lines and I was and I was like oh this is so sweet this is so exciting I love doing this so then um I think I got a call back and I was pretty excited I was like Oh, I'm so excited for the callback. But then I was like, wait, never mind. I didn't get a call back. <laughs> I just got the job. I was like, wait, I got the job. This is so cool. I had no clue what it was for, though. I so actually like had no clue what it was for. So, so you like, you've got this amazing later, job and you've got no idea what it is. So then I think like a few weeks later, I was like, oh, wow, this is interesting. It's for a Disney movie. Wow. So I was like, oh my gosh, I'm going to be a Disney movie because literally when I tell you this, this is true. Every single day from when I was three to maybe seven years, seven, six years old, I always used to go to the Disney store and dressed up as every single Disney character you can imagine. I was Peter Pan, Captain Hook, Jake from Jake and the Neverland Pirates. I was Mickey at one point. I was everybody. It was so much fun. Oh, dressing up is so much fun. I love dressing up as well. Yeah. We don't have yeah. one Disney store in Australia at all. Not even one Disney store. Oh, wow. I, I personally think it's Disney torture. Island. So I'm jealous you got to go and dress up and go to the Disney store all the time. Yeah, it was so fun. So I was so excited that I actually got to be in a Disney movie. And I think a year before that, my mom was actually like, um, you're probably going to get a Disney movie soon. You're, I think you're probably going to be in a Disney movie. So I was like, oh, I, I really hope so. And now here we are. I'm in a Disney movie. So, yeah, you've reached the peak. Yeah, yeah. Thank you so much. 
So when I got into the booth, I got to meet Jared and Byron and Sharice and Yvette. So that was pretty cool. But I sadly did not meet any of the cast members or Lin-Manuel Miranda yet. But you did eventually get to meet them. Mm -hmm, That was so exciting. Yeah, how was the premiere? It looked like so much fun meeting all these like super famous people that you're a part of that cast. Yeah, everybody was so nice. Lin-Manuel Miranda, Stephanie Beatrice, Adasa, everybody, Renzi. Everybody was so nice. Oh, they are all so nice. I had an interview with Adasa and she was so, so nice. Yeah, I watched that. It was so awesome. She was so great. Oh, the whole cast, I think all of you are just on top of being like amazing actors. You're all just such lovely people, like online interacting with all the fans. It's so good. Thank you so much. So when you recorded your lines, did you have to do any of it over Zoom because of the pandemic or did you get to go into Disney at any point? I did. I got to go into a booth to yeah. record the lines. It was so much fun. It was so fun. I, it I, yeah, I was, it was just so cool to go into a booth because I think that might have been the first time since the pandemic that I've gone into a booth, but I can't be too sure. Oh, that's yeah. good. Cause it's hard to act with the sound over Zoom, I would presume getting that perfect sound for the mind. Yeah. yeah. One thing I'm curious about, there are a lot of animals in this movie. Like your character was always surrounded by animals and they're all so cute. Do you have a favorite animal out of all the animals in the film? Oh yes, I think that my favorite animal would have to be a jaguar slash the jaguar in Encanto. Oh, that dragon was so cute. Yeah. I thought I its name him. might've been Passe, but I wasn't sure. Yeah, oh, I, thought, I, thought his, I thought his name was Jax. Jax oh that's so cute I think my favorite would be a tie between the Jaguar and the toucan Pico Mm, yeah 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 I've worn my toucan earrings especially for this interview and uh, yeah I've got matching leopard for you as well well there wasn't a leopard in it but I figure that's close yeah and I like your Jaguar gear as well thank you yeah I love this so much oh that's so cool um, obviously, there are a lot of songs in this movie, and you did an excellent job singing in all of you. What is your favorite song in the movie? Okay, it's got to be n- hands down. We don't talk about Bruno. 100%. Same. I that love song is song. the best. I know it was so awesome. All the people that sang in it did such a good job. It was awesome. Yeah, you should do a cover of "We Don't Talk About Bruno" because I heard your Bruno rap. Oh, yeah, thank did? you. Oh, that was so good. Do thank you sing you. a lot? Yes, I sing. I love singing so much. Yeah, because I heard you sing on all of you and you had a couple of lines. Like, I want to hear like a solid verse from Antonio right now because <laughs> you, Ravi's sounding so great. So great. Thank you. Thank you so um, much. One thing I can kind of see it in the back of your screen. Obviously, I've been seeing on Instagram that you've been getting a lot of Encanto Antonio merch. What is your favorite piece of merchandise? And what merchandise haven't you got that you really, really want? Well, I think that I've gotten everything I want. The people at Disney were nice for sending all this stuff. But my favorite thing of all time that I got was this book that showed it was like this long it was it, it's pretty big it showed all the art in Encanto and it was called the art of Encanto oh that showed how good. all the characters used to look and how they how they um drew everything and how they designed everything it was it was awesome oh, and I actually was wanting that so much yeah oh I'm so glad you got it that's so great Yeah, I was so happy when I got, I was like, no way. (laughs) You definitely need to dress up as Antonio at some point. You can go to the Disney store. Oh yeah, that would be awesome. Yeah, you would look so good. I need to dress up as Antonio. (laughs) Thank you so much. Next Halloween. Oh yes, that would be so awesome. And also I have this accordion. Oh wow, that's so cool. Yes, and it actually, it plays music. It's kind of hard to hear, but... We'll hear it in a 
a second. The family I Monty Gall song. It's the family <laughs> Monty Gall song. I love it so much. Oh, that's so cool. <laughs> Oh, yeah. Final question before we go. Thank you so much for chatting. I want to know though, what is your favorite Disney movie of all time? Well, I <laughs> If you have a top 5, that's fine. Yes, I think I might. Well, first of all, I really like I really like the old black and white cartoons. I really mm -hmm. love all those, like the ones of Mickey, Mickey and stuff. I love those. And also, my favorite would also be definitely 100% obviously in Kanto. Oh, 100%? 100%. And my third favorite would have to be one that has not released that, but, but is yet to come out, I hope, in Kanto 2. Oh, yes. <laughs> well, I definitely want to see in Kanto 2. And I also want to see like a series. Oh, yeah. On Disney yeah. Plus because I need to see inside of everyone's rooms. Oh yeah, 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 that yes, would be Yes, awesome. we got to see inside your character's room, but we yes. didn't get to see everyone's room. And I was like, I want to see yeah. Camilo's room. I want to see Dolores's room, Louise's room. It's yeah. Like, we just need a sequel so I can see more rooms. Yeah, <laughs> yes, definitely. Oh, well, thank you so much for coming on. I absolutely love chatting with you. Oh, I really you feel- so Fun. Oh, you're gonna have big things in your future. You're so talented. Your performance in the movie was just incredible. Like I was in a screening with like yes. all these adults, and like when you started talking, they were all like, "Oh!" They were like melting at your voice acting. You did such a good job, and I, I'm really I'm excited to follow your career because I think you're gonna be a massive star, and this is just the beginning. Thank you so much. This was so fun chatting with you. Oh, no problem.